Okay, in this example, um, we're given the formula for a polynomial function named g. And uh, first we want to determine the degree of g, and then we want to use uh, that degree uh, to uh, determine uh, the most number of x-intercepts uh, that g can have, and the most number of local extrema or turning points uh, that g uh, can have. So first let's uh, determine the degree. That's fairly easy. Remember the degree of a polynomial function is going to be the highest power of the input variable. Uh, so if we uh, go through the terms uh, of this formula and look at the uh, powers, uh, let's see, uh, the power on this first term is 3, the power on the second term is 1, uh, the power on this third term is 5, and then the power for this constant term is uh, taken to be 0. So the highest uh, uh, power um, of the uh, input variable in this formula is clearly 5, and so that's the degree um, of the function g. And the degree gives us important information about the uh, maximum number of x-intercepts um, uh, that the function g can have, and then the maximum number of local extrema um, that the function g can have. And let's review uh, those facts for uh, polynomial functions. Uh, so remember, uh, the maximum number of x-intercepts uh, that a polynomial function can have is the same as its degree. And uh, the maximum number of local extrema uh, that a polynomial function can have is the same as one less than its degree. So since the degree of this function g is 5, uh, that means that the maximum number of x-intercepts uh, g can have is also 5. Now, this doesn't mean that g has to have 5 x-intercepts. Uh, all this tells us is that 5 is the maximum number of x-intercepts uh, that the polynomial function g can have. And then likewise, the most uh, number of turning points, the most number of local extrema uh, that the graph of the function g can have is 1 less than this degree, uh, so that would be 4. And again, uh, this doesn't mean that uh, the graph of g is going to have 4 turning points, but that's the maximum number of uh, turning points uh, that the graph of the function g can have. So all together here, uh, to review, uh, uh, the polynomial function g has degree 5. The most number of x-intercepts it could have is also 5. And the most number of turning points uh, the graph of the function g can have is uh, 4.